Hey guys, Chad Trofkin here. Today I'm going to demonstrate the different pencil modes in Adobe Flash. Now when I posted my last tutorial on how to draw a cartoon character, I received a few emails and comments asking me how I got my lines to be so smooth in the tutorial. Well it all has to do with the different pencil modes that you use. So let's check them out and see what each one does. So I'm going to come over here to my toolbar and I'm going to select the pencil tool located right here. Now I'm going to go to the bottom of the toolbar and you'll see that there is an icon here and depending on what you have currently selected it's going to look a little bit different. But if you put your selection tool over it it will say pencil mode so you know you have the right one. And if you click and hold that down you will see that you have three options here. Straighten, smooth, and ink. Now, based on the descriptions alone, you can probably tell what each of these is going to do. But, let's go ahead and demonstrate them anyway. I'm going to select the straighten mode. And I'm going to come over here to my stage. So, with my pencil tool, I'm simply going to draw a squiggly looking line. Just kind of like this, and I'm going to release. Now, you'll notice that it changes the way the line looks after I release my mouse. You'll also see that we have some kind of straight edges going on here, along with some really smooth edges. This is basically what the straighten mode does, is it kind of goes through and it makes your strokes very defined. For the most part straight, but sometimes very rounded, depending on what you drew. Now obviously this is good if you're trying to draw a straight line. You're just kind of coming in here. Obviously it's not perfect, but once you release, it makes a very straight line. So let's say you're trying to draw a square coming in here, not getting it quite right, it's a bit off. But once you release, perfect square, or rectangle I should say. Now you can also do this with circles as well. Let's say you're trying to draw a circle and not going quite as defined as you want to, but once you get done and you release, perfect circle. Now of course you could use the shape tool to create your squares and circles, but this is also another way to do it. Okay, let's move on to the smooth mode. First, I'm gonna come up here to my selection tool, and I'm going to select all of this stuff and just delete it. That way we can concentrate on what the smooth mode does. So I'm going to select my pencil tool. I'm going to come down here again to my pencil mode and select smooth. Now smooth, as you can probably guess, basically smooths out your lines. And it's probably the mode I use the most because I really, I really like what it does with the lines and I, I like how it looks. So I'm simply going to come over here and I'm going to draw again, kind of another like squiggly looking line to demonstrate this. And once I release, you can see that it kind of took what I drew. It didn't alter it too much, but it really just made it really smooth. It's very clean, it's very smooth, and there's no bumps or defects within that line I just drew. And really, this applies to almost anything. I mean, again, it doesn't snap into place kind of like what the, um, the straighten tool does. Like for instance, the circle I just drew, it's not a perfect circle, but it goes through and it takes, you know, again, the little bumps or defects and just makes them smooth. And again, this is the tool I probably use the most or the mode I use the most, I should say, when it comes to using the pencil tool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ink mode. Now the ink mode basically, it basically um, puts down exactly what you draw. When you release this, you can see that there's some little bumps here in your drawing. And again, that's kind of how it's translated. It doesn't like take any of the little bumps or defects and removes them, it just keeps them there. And this is probably useful if you're doing some sort of, I don't know, depending on your style, if your style is a bit more rough, which is perfectly fine, then that would be something you might want to use is the ink tool. Now there are there is one more thing that we can do here when it comes to these modes and that is you can apply them after the fact. And by this I mean let's go ahead and take 
our selection tool located right here. Now let's come over here to this line and I'm going to just click, hold, and drag to select it. Now this line is selected. Now if we come down to the bottom of our toolbar again, you'll see that we have two options here, smooth and straighten. This basically allows us to apply these effects to the line after we have drawn it. So let's say you draw something and it's not quite as smooth as you want it or it's not quite as straight as you want it. Well, you can simply, let's try the smooth one first, click that and keep clicking it as you can see until you get it to where you want it. And as you can see over time as you continue to click it, it dramatically alters the way the line looks to the point where it's almost nothing like you drew. So, but again, if you just want to alter something slightly, you can click it once or twice to get it to where you want it. And the same applies with the straighten tool. I'm gonna go ahead and just select this and then come over here and just click this, straighten, and keep clicking it. Before you know it, your line is straight, or for the most part, it has very straight edges. And there you go. That's basically how you change the way your pencil looks in Adobe Flash. And again, there's no right or wrong way, it just depends on what you're looking for. So, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.